For the first time in its history, the U.S. Congress is to hear directly from a family of survivors of an American drone strike in Pakistan. The main question is why their grandmother was blown to pieces while looking after her garden. Artis Ganesh Shikhan spoke to the family. Why do you think your grandmother was killed? I don't know. That's one of the reasons why we came here. I have no idea why my grandmother was killed. What did you do when it blew up? Did you run? What, what were you doing? When the drone hit, I was outside with my grandmother. Everything became dark. I was scared, so I started to run. Then I noticed my hand was bleeding, so I tried to clean my hand, but blood kept coming out. But I was very scared, so I just kept running. My deepest condolences for your mother's, uh, for, the, for your loss. My mother was killed, my children were injured. I'm so glad that people are going to hear our story. That's why we came to America. We have no idea why our village and my house was targeted. This is going to be the first time when the U.S. Congress, that generally approves of drone strikes, will hear from innocent victims of those strikes. The Ur Raymond family from Pakistan are going to tell their story, and they hope to hear answers where this is all going. Why do they have to live in fear every day, and why was their grandmother killed? In Washington, RT, I'm going to check in. Now, the report by Amnesty International has condemned U.S. drone warfare, going as far as saying some strikes may be classified as crimes against humanity. Artis Ghanit Shikan also caught up with documentary filmmaker Robert Greenwald, who took the story of the Rahman family as inspiration for his latest movie. Santa Claus. And they also want to believe that there's a simple solution to these incredibly complicated problems. When we started reading that the drones were killing only high-value targets who represented an imminent threat, it doesn't make sense. It's just not possible. So I think there was a kind of hopefulness. Yes, finally we found a magic pill, which was part of it. Some of it is the fact that American soldiers weren't there, so people said, doesn't matter. As important is that, you know, the family is speaking to all kinds of Americans people who have a mother or have a father and who look at them and can't justify the killing that we've done. And then you have this extraordinary military, industrial, electoral complex, bipartisan, that agrees that the way to solve problems is by invading, occupying and droning. We have to change all of that.